Welcome to another lecture, my friends and students. So here we are going to discuss what tools you need to start working with Laravel. If you follow the course so far, you're not going to be able to, uh, you're not, you will be able to do this without this lecture. But if you're jumping straight from, like, you haven't done the other parts that I have uh, created in the course, then you need to start doing, you need to watch this lecture and uh, download all of the things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straight jump to Google and type here composer and you need to download the composer like this so get composer.org and you go download and I'm gonna do it just composer setup file just gonna save it and because I'm using Firefox it will be here you can use any browser to find it where it's saved I mean the the download installed for all users I'm just gonna go quickly so if you have any problem just pause the video watch it because this is not important this is a uh, very basic and I know that you professionals by 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 so far so you don't need to I need don't need to explain a lot of things here now after composer is installed what is composer composer is let's go back it's dependency manager for PHP and the composer will manage all dependencies you require on a project by project basis. So this means that composer will pull in all of the libraries we require and dependency and manage them all in one place. That's nice. So now I go to CMD. So I'm just gonna use CMD. You can use PowerShell. I will show you. You will use you can use even for from the text editor, right? Uh, I will say composer composer and if you install it successfully it will be here by the way you know that your version might be different than mine it will be better it will be more the, the most recent one so mine is 1.9.3 2020 that's pretty much it um so i have installed this one now what's next next one is to install node node js and of course it's not going to load because Node.js, there it is. Download Node.js, and here in downloads, you can go. So, here's that's the link. You can choose whatever you want. If you're using Windows, choose the version 64 or 34. If you use Mac OS, choose the version for your uh, particular machine, right? So, after downloading Node.js and NPM what they are node.js is open source cross-platform javascript runtime environment that executes javascript code outside the browser and this comes with npm means that npm is a package manager similar to a composer but it's a package manager it's a dependency manager for a javascript programming languages so it is by default the package manager for our node.js so um that's pretty much it here. After the installation, you can go jump here and start node-v, and that will give you the current version, which will be probably different than mine, and no, uh, npm-v, so it will be, give you the version of npm, or the package manager for the JavaScript. Now that's all good, we're done. And one more thing that we need to install is the Apache server. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go for exam. You can install exam. You can go for the Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. Doesn't matter what you're gonna use. Just this one is for 7.4.2. Comes with PHP 7.4.4.2. Uh, it might be different in your case. Don't worry about it. That means that you have the latest version. Now all that is done. So what we also there are others. There is there is a one WAM. This is especially for done for install WAM for Windows. Here it is, Microsoft Windows. The other one for Linux is called LAMP Server. So I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to go through them. Here it is, LAMP Server. You can install it. And the one that is for Mac, for Mac OS, it's MAM. MAM Server, and that's pretty much it. I'm done. So you can choose whatever you want. So I'm not forcing you. The last part that you need is a text editor vs code is my i've used it so far in the course i'm going to continue with this one you can use php store whatever editor you want brackets whatever sublime whatever editor you are, feel comfortable with so after that you're going to go install it and 
you will have your VS code like that. Now if you open it and click it. Now, what I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show you, here is the extension or marketplace. You can search for, uh, for extensions. So you can pause the video. I have all of these extensions running in the background. And because if you don't install some of them, like Laravel, you will not be able to see Laravel, uh, yeah, the blade spacer, the snippets, it will, the code will be different for you guys. So also, I use material like uh, different themes. So if my icons are different than yours, don't worry about it. So that's pretty much it. Pause the video, install as much as you can, install it better ones, find it, search it on the internet, and that's pretty much it how we need to um, what we need to do before we start working with Laravel. So you have all of this and you have the composer. So first we have composer, then we install Node.js, inside we have the NPM, and after that we install XAMPP and VS Code, text editor for writing the code, HTML and PHP. So here I had the problem loading. So that's pretty much it. See you in the next lecture. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, stay safe.